A great way to increase the number of views and subscribers that your YouTube channel receives is to customize the content that's featured on your YouTube channel's homepage. So here I am on the public facing page for my YouTube channel. And by default, the content that we're gonna see is the videos that we've uploaded and liked and they're just in order of the last video that we uploaded or the last video that we liked. But we can actually customize this page to feature playlists. We can create a trailer for anybody who's not currently subscribed to our channel to see when they first come to our YouTube channel homepage, which is a great opportunity to capture that user and hopefully get a subscription. To do this, we're going to move to the top of our screen and I'm gonna put my mouse just below the channel art photo on my YouTube page. When I do that, you'll notice that a pencil icon appears in the top right corner. And when I click on that, I have the option to edit my channel navigation. When I click on that link, a few different options come up for me. Right now, our channel is using this feed setting down here at the bottom where we just see activity when we like a video or a playlist and it also shows when you upload a video. However, what we want to do to increase the customization of our YouTube channel is we want to use this browse setting up here at the top. So I'm just going to click on the enable button to enable this feature. Now I can click save at the bottom. When I do that, you'll notice that the YouTube channel page changes. I now have a video featured up here at the top, which I can change. I can modify this video and put whatever video I'd like. And down at the bottom, I have the option to add some sections to my YouTube channel page. So let's go ahead and choose one of our videos as our unsubscribed trailer. To do that, I'm just gonna click on the channel trailer button here in the middle of my screen. When I do that, all the videos that I've published to YouTube appear, and we can choose one as the trailer. As your YouTube channel matures, it might be a good idea to shoot a video specifically for this unsubscribe trailer. Because again, if somebody's not subscribed to your YouTube channel, they might watch one video and then when they click to go to your actual homepage, this is the video you're gonna see. So this is your golden opportunity to grab that user and get a subscription right away. But for now, let's go ahead and just choose one of the videos that we've already uploaded. I'll choose the Oxford Street time lapse, and then click save. So now you can see that that video is featured on my page. Anybody who comes to this screen, to my YouTube channel homepage, who's not subscribed to my channel, is gonna see this video first. If I mouse over this section of the screen, at the top here I have a drop down menu, and right now we're in the unsubscribe trailer. That's the trailer that we just changed. But if I click on that drop down menu, I can also customize what my subscribers see. So when I click on that link, you'll notice that it changes a little bit, and by default, it's going to feature your latest video that you've uploaded right here on the left side, front and center, and then on the right, some other videos that you've recently uploaded as well. We can change this, however, if we'd like, by clicking on the pencil icon at the top right corner of this section of the screen. In the box that appears, you'll notice that there's a check mark next to the box that says only include uploads, which means by default, subscribers, when they come to our homepage, are only going to see our recent uploads. If we uncheck this box, they'll also see our curating activities, like when we like a video or add somebody else's video to one of our playlists. I personally prefer this the way it is because that means all of your subscribers are only going to be seeing your content, which if you're using YouTube for monetization or marketing is really what you're looking for. However, you could uncheck this if you'd like and they'll be able to see your other activities on YouTube. For now, I'm going to leave it checked and hit the done button. Now that we have our subscriber view and our unsubscribed trailer set up, we can start adding some additional sections to our YouTube homepage by clicking on the add a section button here at the bottom of our screen. When I click on that, another section appears. I'm gonna close this help window. So over here on the left, I can click on the content dropdown menu. And you can see I've got a number of different options for the content that I would like to feature in this particular section. Once you start creating some playlists, I think it's a great idea to include those playlists right here on your homepage. And we do have a playlist that we've created. So let's go ahead and click on single playlist. We wanna feature one single playlist right here. Now we can choose whether we want the layout to be horizontal or vertical. Keep that in the back of your mind for a second though because we wanna actually choose the playlist we're gonna feature first because down at the bottom, we'll see a preview of what that playlist is gonna look like here on the YouTube homepage. So in the choose a playlist dropdown, I can either choose one of my own playlists or I could enter a playlist URL. It could be a playlist that's on a different YouTube channel. But again, if we're using YouTube for marketing or monetization, it's a good idea to feature our own playlist. So we'll leave that on my playlist. Then over here to the right, we'll find a playlist. We have the land and hotel sites in London playlist. I'll select that one. 
You can see we now have a preview down here at the bottom of what this playlist is going to look like here on the YouTube homepage. If I were to change the layout to vertical list, it changes and looks a little bit different. Depending on the playlist, you can decide which one that you like better. I do like the vertical list, especially if you don't have that much content because it takes up a little bit more room on the page and the users can also see the descriptions of the videos within the playlist. If you start having a lot of content on your homepage and on your YouTube account in general, it might be a good idea to use the horizontal row because each playlist will take up a little bit less space. But for now, let's keep it as a vertical list and hit the blue done button. Now we can see our homepage is really starting to come together. We have our channel art at the top, we have our unsubscribed and subscriber view trailers, and now we have a featured playlist right here on our homepage. So when a user comes to our YouTube homepage, there's a ton of different content for them to take a look at before they decide which video they'd like to watch first. If we scroll down to the bottom, we could add another section, and it's the same thing we just did, but we could go over to content, and we could choose a different type of content. Another good option to use is popular uploads, your most popular videos on YouTube. Now right now in this account we only have three videos, so we're going to see a little bit of overlap between the playlist that we created and our popular uploads. But as you upload more videos to YouTube, you should have tons and tons of unique content right here on your YouTube homepage.